Welcome to Wiki Roulette, the show where we draw a lot and learn nothing. I'm Jacob. And I'm Jake. I'm Julia. Yeah, Nathan is uh, is out today <laughs> in a drawfy first. It's no, a J episode. No drawfy boys. <laughs> The, uh, oh, Drawfy boys, <laughs> the tabs, the tabs are calling. So we're, we're striking out on our own. No, no gods, no kings. This isn't going to go well. Only jabronis. Only jabronis. <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, hit our first article. May the gods be kind to us this day. Yep. Okay. Oh, and boy. It's uh, Of course, we all know our good friend Cantalo Mardia. Uh, Cantalo Vardicena, Vardichan, or Canty. As Ooh. he's known. Uh, I like to call him Canty. Is a statistician <laughs> specializing <laughs> in directional, statis- in st- directional statistics, multivariate analysis, geostatistics, and statistical oh, bioinformatics. So a man who wow. is clearly so smart that we shouldn't even be saying his name. He, he does all the, the most exciting types of statistics. <laughs> yeah. Those he are my the favorites. Guy medal. These are dark and nefarious <laughs> statistics that our mortal brains can hardly imagine. Um, I imagine like a wizard, like a, like a like who dares disturb the statistician? Yeah, I think that's definitely <laughs> where we're gonna head with this. And he, he uh, he's like in robes, but he still has like a nice Oxford. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, let's let's get this guy going over here. Um, he's kind of got a. a a strange melony kind of head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the better to hold all those mis- all those terrifying brains. Like there's a, there's a certain level of mathematics that I honestly like if you can if you know basic trigonometry, you're already a magician in my eyes. Like Oh yeah, mine too. I can't. But when you start getting into the dark maths, <laughs> that's a whole nother pathway, man. Forbidden integers. Forbidden integers. <laughs> Demonic derivatives. <laughs> He's done all of them. By the cosine of Krakula. <laughs> I summon numbers. So we're going to get uh, mm-hmm. his statistician's robes mm-hmm. here. Uh, sweater vest on over the top. Yeah. I like that he wears a sweater vest over the robes. Yeah, mm-hmm. o- over the robes. Um, he, he, you know, it, they're good for all occasions, really. Yes. Uh, including doing dark maths <laughs> against nefarious forces. Correlation does not cause immolation. <laughs> does not equal. <laughs> he can cause immolation, though. He can don't, cause immolation. Don't for a second put that past him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's going to have, like, a, oh. a abacus. Oh, I thought he was going to be holding, uh, you know, like one of those fancy calculators, like a TI-666. No, he uses an abacus. <laughs> <laughs> He's an incredible statistician, refuses to use calculators. Uh, one abacus is all he uses. That's why his powers are so strong. Yeah. Let's see, how do these things look? They have like, like this? Yeah, yeah you're doing yeah. it. You're drawing Close an enough. abacus. I believe in you. Oh, yes. I like that some people use this to do all of their math, and we can't even remember what it looks <laughs> like. I remember I had one of these as a kid, and I just like played with it like it was a toy. I don't think I ever did a math on like it. Like one of those doctor's toys, like the, the toys in the doctor's office where the rings just go around like the little loops. Oh, my God. That's what the abacus was like, but a lot less loopy <laughs> yeah. and roller coastery. Real, real basic. Yeah. And back and forth, and back and forth. That's... That's definitely. I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of disappointed parents. We're like, look, he's playing with an abacus. Meanwhile, you're just like, shaky, shaky, shake, shake it, shake. <laughs> push it over here, then I push it over there. <laughs> what are numbers? Definitely not a video game, so I'm never gonna know. So I don't care. That's just as true today as it was back then. <laughs> Numbers still aren't a video game. Uh, have I ever told you my plan to make math uh, America's best subject? No. No. Uh, in st- okay, so here, here's my idea. Uh, the government should give me a billion dollars for this. Uh, here's what you do. It's a first-person uh, arena-based shooter where every person's given a number and a math problem appears on screen and everyone has to hunt down and kill the answer to the math problem. <laughs> so you've combined the Hunger Games and Math Blaster. Yes. Okay. So like the faster you are at solving the math equation, the faster you can kill the person. But like the people won't realize that they're actually getting better at math because they're too busy being like, awesome, I unlocked a, 
a drone cannon. I don't know. They come out with some major severe <laughs> <Drone> trauma. <cannon. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But they do come out with math skills. Yes. So either I've we watched all my friends die, <laughs> but I can do calculus. No, no, it's like it's all it's all it's all game. It's not like you know. It's you can play it on your government mandated uh, sweet gaming rigs, <laughs> <laughs> or your TI eighty three calculators. <laughs> I promise an alien wear in every classroom once I am elected overlords. Assuming the League of Statisticians don't stop me with their <laughs> polling numbers. Oh, look at him. Uh, he's got a wand, too. <laughs> no Good. That's nothing to do with statistics. Nope. That's just dark magic that he has access to. Uh, uh, but he will be, like, shooting some numbers out of it here. Yeah. And, like, a percentage sign. <laughs> so those are things that are math. Yep, <laughs> those are twelve-ish percent. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Um, here's a here's a there's an X. That's yep. an integer. <laughs> I've seen numbers you couldn't even imagine, <laughs> like the square root of negative one. Impossible. <laughs> it can't be. Okay, um, Julia, All you right. want to hop in here? Yeah. yeah. Um, and we'll uh, get you a new article. We got to see who he's squaring off against. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fare thee well, Kenti Lal Mardia. You really taught us a lot. You're a real good boy. Guangdong! No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Who's that Chinese province that's a real son of a bitch? <laughs> Guangdong. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm only talking about Guangdong. We what can the... dig it. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, just, just, just <laughs> encapsulate the lives of over 106 million people. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's well, he, maybe he's like he's running some numbers on on Guangdong. Mm -hmm. and in order to do that, he has to like do battle with it, with yeah. the province itself. Just a churning mess of uh, of geopolitical <laughs> activity, uh, an economic powerhouse. It looks like like that, like a little uh, like a little. Oh, gross it looks like a little elephant head. Little elephant head. Does it look like an elephant head? Yeah. Look, there's the trunk, and there's like the little ear. Right, you know what? We'll we'll get the Guangdong picture on the screen the when we do this. Uh, Nathan will get the picture on the screen when we do this. Nathan, oh, yeah. we need your help. I've been s repeatedly stabbing okay. Nathan's computer with a tiny knife ever since we started recording. Is that bad? I just get nervous. I think that's good. Okay. Um, We're just trying to help, buddy. Nathan's not here to say no. Yeah. So we can do whatever we want, really. <laughs> I can almost hear him. <laughs> You should go ahead and st break all my stuff, Jake. Wow, is he here? I Nathan? <laughs> is that you? Nathan's everywhere you need him to be, if you believe in him. I, I super do. I do <laughs> believe in him. Oh, guys, <laughs> let me tell you something about Guangdong. Uh, it's Please do. It's well, yeah, please please tell me something about it. Tell me anything about it. Uh, it's roughly the same size as the Netherlands. Okay. Uh, it, it's, the legend has it that it is an actual elephant buried deep within the ground. <laughs> and that it will one day rise again. Uh, there's like at least 80 different Chinese mythical beasts that are just waiting to wreck our shit. Oh yeah, for sure. That's all China's waiting for. Like, the only reason they haven't taken us out is because they're still in the summoning process for all of their mythical beasts. <laughs> Uh, sir, bad news. It's a it's a Feng Huang, the mystical bird whose <laughs> tails make up the galaxies. It's like, oh, that sounds really bad. <laughs> I don't know. Do we have anything to fight that with? Uh, we got uh, we got drones. <laughs> we got drones and Donald Trump. <laughs> That's basically, <laughs> and its body is the cosmos. So I don't know how much good that's gonna do. Uh, it, each flap of its wings is the northern winds. <laughs> So, so uh, uh, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> I, ooh, oh, cool. Is he like summoning it? Yeah. Yeah, with his statistics power. Oh man, that's rad. <laughs> that's way radder than I expected this I, to be. <laughs> I tried my best to avoid drawing a million, people, a million, millions of people, millions of millions of people, and I just drew an elephant instead. Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay, good. Oh, they speak. Uh, they speak a lot of Cantonese over there. I guarantee you, no one in Guangdong is watching this right now. I, That's my challenge. <laughs> That's my challenge to you, the viewers. That's a lot of people to be betting against, man. The, you've just started the August Revolution. As thousands. <laughs> of... Wait, are, is College Humor banned? Or no, we're on YouTube, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, but I feel like College Humor might be banned in China. 
No, he only only Dropping Knights is banned in China. <laughs> <laughs> they ban they put a ban on Willie. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the rest of us are still all right. Yeah. It's it's illegal to be part of Team Willy in the entirety of the People's Republic. Oh my god, that's super that... cool. Yeah, that's that's really cool actually. All right. Sweet. Um, <laughs> so um, I guess tradition dictates we do one more of these. Okay. <laughs> I really like the idea. It's like carry the seven times X. Remove the the remainder. Elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Elephant backed by the power of several million people. <laughs> all right, hit us up with another right, article. Let's do this last one. Last one. Here we go. Bob, Bob Deep. Deep. It's an Indian Deep. name. It's just the name. <laughs> we just don't even name. get a notable it Bob Deep. It, it meaning universe and deep meaning light. Oh. Oh, oh. my. So it's universe light? Yeah. Oh, you know The word you have Bob to do. also means infinite. Uh,. You have to. I, you know what you have to do. What What do I have to do? Please tell me. Make him a Final Fantasy summon in space. Oh my what? god! <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> the settings are all universe, there. <laughs> universe light. Seems, seems pretty obvious to me now that you've said it. I just imagine Bob Deep is Conti's like son, and he just has like a black hole for a head. <laughs> <laughs> the word Bob also means infinite. And Bob Sagar means big sea slash ocean. That's that's actually really like you look at an infinite like you look at a baby, you look at a tiny infant, and your first thoughts is like, I will name you Infinite Light. <laughs> <laughs> you got some high hopes for that baby. Apparently apparently it means uh, a light that goes on forever slash infinity. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Wait, do you- That's a lot to give to a tiny baby who pretty much just cries and shits its pants. Jacob, we technically share the same first name. Do you like do you know what the besides just the Bible reference what like the name Jacob is supposed to be? I wish I knew. Yeah, I like, guarantee you it doesn't mean infinite light. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it, it means like good goat haver. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. Don't yeah. worry. My yeah, my I'm last cool. name has the worst translation into English. It's just pathetic. What? No. You mean the small? Yeah. yeah. Julia the, just, you're Julia the small. It's just bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's just sad and bad. Oh, I think it's kind of it's kind of nice. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna what have you, to do what something. What are you doing, man? I'm gonna have to do something with this. Yeah. This so is. So here we go. Um, I think that the, the tack I'm gonna take here. Okay. Is that uh, Bob Deep is uh, our boy Conti's summoned spaceship. Oh? Oh, okay. That he uses to travel the universe, uh, solving statistical problems. <laughs> so he's going to be like the Nimbus from DBZ? I, sure. Yeah, there's... I mean, <laughs> your suggestion is infinite light, go. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. There's only so many Photoshop filters at his disposal. <laughs> Maybe maybe use the uh, posterize. Maybe posterize. Nah, We're going hashtag no filter, my man. Oh no! Your wiki entry is a philosophical concept. <laughs> Go, intangible concept. No, wow. this is uh, this is his this is his ship. It's yeah. it's got an elephant on the front of it. I'd like I'd like you to meet my uh, my son Bob Deep. Uh, Infinite light. This is uh, his brother. Uh, the Edge of Knowledge, and of course his sister, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's just gonna be uh, blasting through the cosmos here. Okay. Off, off on another one of his statistical adventures. What is it with when Julia shows up, we just have an animal vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't hey, know. I suggested Final Fantasy Summon. Uh, Jacob's taking it to a ship. I don't got time for that, Julia. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Cut to like There's hour so seven. Much time in the world. <laughs> I'm still adding like belts. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's like, I mean, I get where you're going with like the chain mail, but I feel like it should be more of a plate mail. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, I get it. I'll make it shinier. <laughs> you need at least seven more swords, please. Yeah. So we're just gonna add some some stars, do, some do, moons, do, 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 do. Uh, some like little sparkle stars. I want to see this cartoon. This yeah. would be like one of those after school '90s cartoons. Mm -hmm. You know, it follows up with some kind of uh, like message for the kids, like turn off the taps when you're not using yeah. them. Save yeah. the ocean. <laughs> we're on a math adventure. 
Who knows where the stars will take us with Conti and Bob D. <laughs> 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 the kids, kids are watching like our oh, limitations. This doesn't make any sense. What is he talking about? What Should is any of this? By carrying the integers and moving over three decimal points, you too can scroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob Deep. <laughs> no, I don't see. I don't understand at all. I'm eight years old. Do kids really question what they're watching? I mean, we grew up with like Rocco's Modern Life. I didn't really question that too much. Probably you should. I should have. have yes. Uh, okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna call it quits on this. I think. Okay. We've got our I boy like our boy Conti, navigating the solar system. <laughs> I guess you could say the real answer was friendship. And then Candy's like, no, it was seven. <laughs> <laughs> you failed my class. Get out. Uh, guys, thanks thanks for watching as always. And uh, we're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Nathan's not here. 